Hello, everybody. This is Elijah of the New Paradigm Toolkit and Planetary Guardians. And what we have here is an uh, entry point into a new chat stream product for the facilitators of the LCL training program. And what we have here is a way to frame the conversation, to have a goal, to have a time limit, and to get the team set up to get a mission accomplished. And so what we're going to do right now is Nova is going to take you through the process of how you sign up and get your teams ready to get your first chat mission about to go. So Nova, over to you. Thank you, Elijah. Uh, yeah, hello, my name is Nova. I'm checking in feeling pretty good. Uh, some of you may recognize me from other videos and some of you may recognize me from your teams. Hello, Michael. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is just share my screen uh, and you'll probably have received an email with a link to this video and also a link to planetaryguardians.net. Uh, and you should have been given a password as well. So once you arrive at planetaryguardians.net, uh, simply click the login button and then using the email and the password, uh, click login. And the first time you arrive here, you'll need to upload a profile picture. Uh, you can use your face, for example. And then just accept. Uh, then I would uh, advise you to use your real name, but you can use any username you wish and then click accept again. Uh, and then select your time zone. And just to, to do this, just look at the day and time. Make sure it's your current local time and then choose the correct one. Uh, so don't worry too much about the city. Just pick the one that has your correct time and click finish. So you only need to do that on the first time. Otherwise, when you log in, you will arrive here on this screen. Uh, this is the facilitators uh, screen for the chat stream uh, platform. It's your setup screen. Uh, so you'll notice a few things here. Uh, currently, your team has one total members. And if I just go to manage my team, you'll see that the one member is myself. And as the facilitator, you will be the first and only member in your team to start with. You can easily add more members by clicking on add member and just enter their name and their email and click add new member. They'll receive an email and then once they join, uh, they all appear in this list as well. Uh, so other than that, I would advise you to click on the manage mission buttons first uh, because you're going to notice that you need to set up your mission. So let's just go ahead and go there. Uh, so once you click that, there'll be a short introduction to the platform itself. And you'll notice that the first uh, step for you is to set up mission one, the start. I could read so that. I'm our... oh, sorry. Welcome to the Planetary Guardians Facilitators platform. As facilitator for your group, you have been given access here to everything you need in order to set up the missions that you and your group will be embarking upon. Throughout the process, information and instructions will guide you through the process. The first step is for you to set up mission one, the start. That's correct. So once you've had a read there, um, you'll click set up the mission and this will take you to mission one, uh, step one, the start. So there's a little description for each of the missions when you set it up, kind of explaining the purpose of it. Um, and then you'll go and cr create the mission itself. So as a first mission objective, you'll probably be a given one. So you could just uh, insert your, your mission objective there uh, and then hit the continue button. Now, this is a time limit. Uh, if you wish to not have a time limit and just allow it to continue for as long as you wish, just leave it all zeros and click continue. Otherwise you can set uh, one day, for example, or one hour or seven days and the system will automatically complete your mission after the given time in your time limit. So let's just use seven days as an example. And then you click continue. Uh, so now you'll arrive at a page that has the value lenses, the conversation types, and the conceptual lenses. So the instructions are simple. Select the value lens, conversation type, and conceptual lens. Um, and this will help focus the conversation and frame the mission within a given context. Uh, Elijah, can you kind of explain this a little bit more? Thanks, Nova. You all have the value cards. You all have the conversation cards. You may or may not have the other conceptual lenses. I'm not sure about that, whether you have them cut out. Um, this is the main framing for the chat room. 
this is a way to frame it into one conversation, which is the conversation type. And then that conversation has the intention of the value lens. And then you're seeing through one particular lens to just kind of know what is your main, main framing lens that you're looking at the, um, the objective at. And so you have two ways of doing it. At the beginning of the first seven missions, these will be set for you. But as you go along and start to use the tool, you can either choose the value or you can do a random pull. And so Nova, do you wanna show how to do it on the, on the value lens? Sure. Um, so for example, to use the random, you simply click on the random and you'll be right away given a particular value lens. Um, you can accept it right away, or if you wish, you can continue to click random again, and you'll get another one until you like the one that you see. Uh, let's say, for example, initiative. Uh, so you can accept, and that will actually place the lens here. And then you'll just be left with the two other choices. Now, I will use the choice for conversation type just to demonstrate that there are different um, categories here from the synergy wheel. So you have research, infrastructure, learning, operations, and then you have creativity. And as you can see, synergy, services, and interfacing, and stewardship. So if I was to click one in, for example, learning, uh, you're presented with eight learning lenses. So you can select one from here. They're conversation types, not lenses. Conversation types, that's that's true. Yes, uh, uh, Elijah has designed all of this and uh, knows a little bit more than me <laughs> about it. Um, so I could pick an explanation, for example. And you'll see once you do that, it's selected there. Uh, conceptual lenses are similar. There are four main categories. Uh, Inter-individual choice lenses, outer individual flow lenses, organization or group synergy lenses, and community harmony lenses. Uh, they each have different lenses inside. Perhaps the organization or group lenses might be most appropriate. Um, but again, as Elijah said, you may have been given the lenses already to choose from. So simply look for the one that you've been assigned and select it. But just to give you an idea, there's, there's quite a lot of them. And uh, you can structure your conversation by using these as guides for people and kind of uh, inspiring them in order to, to speak a certain way or to keep a certain uh, concept in mind, perhaps. And again, if you're in this choice and you decide, oh, you know what, I just want a random one, you can always click cancel and click random again. And then you can pick a random one, say technology. So once you've picked all three lenses, uh, you'll be able to continue which brings us to the last stage of the mission creation. Can I uh, just jump schedule. in here for a second? Um, yes. Because for this first seven missions, uh, you're going to be given the value, the conversation type and the lens and the objective and the time limit uh, by the Lyciel stewardship team. And so just wanted to make that clear. Okay. Um, so scheduling is up to you. Uh, you can either decide manually starting, which just means that it won't start until you just, uh, click a button as a facilitator and start the mission yourself, uh, or you can click schedule mission, in which case the system will automatically begin the mission at the specified date and time that you select. Um, the big thing to notice here is that when you're uh, scheduling the mission, the actual times and days are in your time zone, uh, but don't worry, we have uh, effectively uh, fixed the issues with, with time zones and stuff, because once you actually select the time in your day and time, uh, when the other members of your team log in, they will see the meeting in their own time. So you won't have to translate that for them. Um, so for example, if you were to set it at Wednesday at noon, uh, you'll notice it's in Auckland time because that's where I am. Uh, you can just select the day and time that you wish and click accept. So once you've done all that, uh, you'll notice that on the bottom left now, it says pending mission. And in the very center of the screen, you'll see next mission, Thursday, September 9th, noon Pacific Auckland time. Uh, as I've said, other people will see this time and date in their own local time. So you no need to trans translate that. 
Um, and at any time, if you or one of your members uh, changes time zones, you are able to update that and change it any time just by clicking update time zone. And you can pick one of the time zones uh, in the world. These are all, uh, if, the, if anyone gets confused about this, it's just the local time is on the left and one particular city that represents that time zone is on the right. So don't worry too much about the city. Just make sure that you or the member clicks on their new local time if they've moved locations. And, and you can click cancel if you don't want to change that. So as I said, uh, the missions themselves will automatically begin uh, if you've selected schedule mission. Uh, otherwise, you'll be able to click on a start button here and begin the mission yourself. Um, but just to skip ahead, uh, let's see what happens when it's actually finished. So we skipped ahead a little bit and now the mission is actually active. So as a facilitator, you'll be able to just click on click here to join. Uh, but before I do that, and before you do that, uh, make sure that you add people to your team. So for example, I'll just walk through that real quick right now. And I'm going to add Elijah to the team. So you just need to add their email and their name and then click add new member. And you'll see now if I go, if I have two total members and you can see if I go here that Elijah's here. And uh, if you need to, if you made a mistake or something, you need to take an account off, it's pretty easy. You can go to delete account and then you just confirm that and you can, you can remove someone from the team as well if needed. Uh, so as an example, let's go into the chat room and just give you a quick look. So you do that by clicking here to join. And so here is the chat stream technology. And uh, I should make it clear that this is mission step one, uh, the start. And as I say, each mission of our seven missions um, have a little bit different mechanics built into them. So it may look a little bit different in the other missions. Uh, and very clearly, uh, you should notice right away that the three lenses uh, or three cards that you picked are up on the top left and everyone will be able to see these in the chat room as well. Um, if you need to resize the chat room, that's uh, perfectly fine. You can size it to this. If it gets a little bit too narrow, you know, the height is too small, just put it back. Will it work on the phone? Uh, it should work on the phone as well, but we definitely recommend that you use a website for optimal use. Uh, so after that point, uh, you, you'll notice as well that there are people. Uh, for our team, there is only two team members, myself and Elijah, uh, but you'll notice that our, our faces are actually there. Um, and Elijah is actually grayed out while, while I'm in color. That just indicates that Elijah isn't actually into the, ch in the chat room itself yet. And once he logs in and clicks on join, then his picture should light up with color. And that way you can tell who uh, from your team is actually in the chat room. And maybe I'll type a test message right now. How about test? And you just click the post button and you can see there's a message here. Uh, so using the chat room for your team will of course be a little bit more exciting, uh, but you'll notice the other mechanics are at the very top right. Uh, you have two personal points and one group point now for my test message. Uh, and the supports, you'll be given five supports at the beginning of the conversation, and those you can use to actually um, support other people's messages. And that's the main thing that's built into the first mission is this support buttons. Uh, and they will come in, they will come in and uh, end up being a piece of the second mission as well, because the things you've supported in the first mission will become uh, connected to the second mission and so on. Yeah, you, I made you the host. So you'll also notice now that Elijah has logged in because his, his face is actually lit up. And uh, if he types a test message, uh, you should see the message on, on the other end very soon. And you'll notice that there is a support button on the right of his message and not mine. So the support buttons will display for everyone's messages except yourself because you're not, you don't need to support yourself. Um, and if I have support left, uh, this will be clickable. And if enough people in your group support the same message, then it becomes supported or perhaps super supported. Uh, and it'll actually appear on the bottom of the screen 
and uh, will be recorded as a supportive thought. So that in the next mission, uh, mission step two, uh, the setup, those actual most supported messages will become a uh, part of the mechanic. Some interesting suggestions here as test messages, I approve. And you'll notice the group points are actually going up as Elijah is typing messages. We now have four group points. So the group points uh, will go up as any member actually posts a message, supports a message, or engages in other ways. And also uh, the amount of people logging in and that sort of thing. And uh, your personal points will add up as you yourself support messages, as you type messages in and post them, as you log in and participate, and also how much do your uh, comments themselves get supported. Where did the snack comment go? I, I did a comment and I thought I posted it and it disappeared. Well, I imagine that you failed to actually post it. Okay. But I don't know. <laughs> so as always, uh, this you will be the first group to actually test this fully. Um, so we have you know, vigorously bug tested this program and uh, it should be quite bug free. But in, in the case that something does happen, uh, please let your facilitator know, or if you are a facilitator watching this, which is more likely, uh, please let Lucille know um, or let me know Nova directly as I'm the programmer currently working on this project. Are you gonna support any of my uh, initiatives here? Uh, no, I have no supports left, but let me cheat in the background here and give myself a few so I can test that. Give me some and kind of show. So, so if who, I- Who are the supports left for the team or for? Uh, no, the supports left show your individual supports left as oh, a uh, participant. Okay. Yeah, so let's just uh, hand a few can out here. Can you support your own initiative? No, that's why there's no support button. Uh, that No support button will display for your own supports. Wow. Yeah, because uh, you don't need to support your own things. That, that would defeat the purpose of, of supporting. Well, no, like let's say you had five supports and all you do is you support your own your own initiatives. No, that's the whole that's the whole point is is their votes. You can't vote for yourself, otherwise the voting process would be no. Why can't you? No. Well, I didn't invent democracy, but I think that rule makes sense. But wait a sec. So you put forth ideas and other people have to go along with them. No, that's the that's what we're trying to get here. <laughs> no, <laughs> that is incorrect. So just as a, let's get back to the, to the subject here. So if I was to suddenly have five supports, for example, um, then I will be able to actually support some of your messages. So if you type a new message, I will support it because I support you. And I think that you, the next message you type, no matter what it is, is, is great. But if you're watching this, uh, remember you only have a certain amount of supports and same with the other members of your group. This is on purpose in order to prevent everyone from supporting every message and to kind of pick and choose the ones you do support. Uh, this will provide good consensus building and uh, democratic uh, decision-making. We need to get a project manager to help us. I, I think that's a great idea. And you'll notice now I'm able to support this and I do. So the support button disappears and the actual message itself will turn peach colored, meaning that you did support it. Yeah. And if I type a, uh, uh, a test message again, I'm, I'm a little more basic here, test message. Uh, you'll see your own test message pop up. And if Elijah decides to support it, I would be grateful. Support your test message. So you'll notice that after Elijah did support my message, I have no notification of that. That is on purpose. Um, it's only when a number of people support your message and a critical mass is reached and then you're notified and you get a bunch of extra personal points. Uh, this is also to create a, a, bit, a basic form of democracy among the chatters. Otherwise people will know when and who supported them. 
and that's to be avoided. We need to get better snacks and long-term food supply. Strange, but I like it. I support that. Okay, so I think we got most of it, do we? I think this is good. We don't want to go too long. People have things to do. That's true. Yeah, I think you should edit it up, cut it out, cut out our laughing, cut out our mistakes, put it all together, make it great, then send me a link. Gee, wizards. Um, shouldn't we have an ending on it or something? So yeah, we could do an ending right now. Okay. So we want to thank you for uh, coming this far along, and we're excited about getting you and your teams involved and to see what happens and see uh, how this can be used to enhance the training program that you're going through and to uh, support what you're going to bring into this world. Do you got something to say, Mr. Nova? Uh, yes, thank you. Um, so again, if you do encounter some, some issues with the software, it's not working correctly, uh, please notify Lucielle or, or more um, probably more beneficially is to directly email me at nova at gmail.com. Uh, and otherwise, yeah, I hope you like the software as well. Uh, we're looking to uh, create more of this. And if you, if you've enjoyed using it, uh, please support us and uh, let's let Lucy all know, let us know, and perhaps uh, we can find other purposes for it as well. All right. See you on the other side.